Yo, what's going on YouTube? JBZ here, and I'm back with another DH video for you guys. In this video, I'm gonna be going over the add-ons that I use for Arena. I'm gonna explain how they, how to configure them. I'm gonna explain what they do, how they help me. And uh, I feel like in Arena, the biggest thing holding people back is their UI. And when you want to succeed in PvP, you, you need to know what's, what's happening in the game. And when you don't have certain add-ons and and certain things telling you, you know, like who's using a button, who has who has this available, things like that. You're kind of you're essentially playing blindfolded. So that's that's the game. It, it didn't used to be how it is, but everybody uses the add-ons now. Everybody has the weak word. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys what you need and what I use for arena that can uh, give you some clarity and allow you to actually see what's going on in the arena. So you can you can make best judgment calls whether. You know, you need to use a defensive or, you know, a good target to attack, things like that. So the first add-on I want to talk to you guys about is S Arena. So S Arena, I'll show you right here. What it is, is it shows the Arena 1, 2, 3 targets and it shows DRs. It shows the racial abilities and the cooldowns on them. It shows trinkets and trinket cooldowns. And it also shows cast bars, which is very important. So as a uh, as a dps as a uh, or a dh you want to see who's casting what so you know which which arena 123 target you need to kick it's to make a quick judgment call on that so i like to have i like Arena because it keeps them in the middle of the screen you can edit them to move them where you want but i like to have them close to the middle of my screen so i can kind of look at them with my peripherals and need to kick something real quick if i have to but um this is how my UI is set up. I don't I don't like to have to look everywhere to see things. So I like to keep everything practically in the center. But um it also tracks the so like I said, it tracks the DRs. So stun DR, you see how it has a little green border around it? That means that it'll that it's on the first DR of stun. So if you look at the yellow one, that's a second DR, and then red would be he's on full DR. You can't do not stun into that. And what I like as well with Esrine is it shows that it shows the same symbol for each DR tree. So, for example, it's it's gonna if you hodge a target, it's gonna show the kidney shot icon. If you fell or up to a target, it's gonna show the kidney shot icon. So all you really have to worry about, you don't have to figure out what other classes what other tr DR trees that they're in. All you have to know is what you do and or what your abilities do and what DR they are themselves. So for DH, in cap is on polymorph DR. The, obviously your sigil is on fear DR and all of your stuns <clears throat> are on the kidney shot stun DR. So I like Serena a lot with that. So let's move on to the next one. Let's talk about Omnibar which is this one right here. So what Omnibar is, is it is a way to track enemy cooldowns. And a lot of people have used this for, for kicks. You can, you can look at your jukes. If you play a caster, you can see when they use a kick. But a lot of people don't know you can use it to track other defensives. You, like if a monk has karma in 10 seconds, you know that he doesn't have karma. There's a kill window. You know, and with that, a DH doesn't have blur, a pally doesn't have bubble. It's very, very important to to see who has what and when, because as a demon hunter, you need to know the right. You need to make the right judgment calls onto who you need to attack and who is the best target that you can win the game on killing. You know, you, if it's late, damp in the game, you don't want to be attacking a pally that has that has bubble available when your team's oom. Um, you know, you want to attack the shadow priest that doesn't have have dispersion for example and you can track that with that so to set that up go to omnibar slash omnibar go to spells and you can go through each class and see what you want to show on there some notable ones as a dh some tips i have for you guys obviously rogue kidney shot you know if you see a rogue running at you and you see his kidney shots coming off in two seconds and he's starting to run at you you can get ready to glimpse and hopefully you glimpse the kidney shot they can get a stun on the rogue or something like that <clears throat> or a pre-dark or a pre-blur things like that but um another one is stormbolt 
You can priest, you can glimpse the storm bolts when you see them coming at you. Another one versus frosty case when they press blinding sleep, that means that they have their go ready. So that's kind of a good way to tell when a frosty case is going to do their go when they get blinding sleep back up, things of that nature. So that's a really good add on that'll help you guys have that vision that I was talking about, that game sense so you can see what's going on to improve your gameplay. So another one that helps me out a lot, nameplate buffs. And I think my game crashed. So we're going to cut this real quick. <laughs> All right, we're back. So the next add-on I want to show you guys is nameplate buffs. So if you type NPB, pull up nameplate buffs. What this one is, is it shows all of the uh it shows debuffs and buffs that you want to show on the enemy so like on the enemy nameplate so i'll show you guys real quick right here basically it shows i'm hiding a lot of like debuffs that i don't really need to see um i i usually i should use i should hide soul rend and stuff like that if you don't want any of these to show, you can get rid of all of like the little debuffs. I have a lot of the, um, for example, like the nature right here. You can see the nature nature brand or chaos brand, I should say. I don't have that showing on, on the on the actual nameplate itself. You can hide those with this add-on. You can also show bark skin things like that. And something I see a lot that a lot of people have is they have big debuffs and they have this gigantic block next to their nameplate. De big debuff is good. Don't get me wrong, but having it on the nameplate you also can't click through it if you need to click like a totem and that giant symbol is blocking it it's really annoying so you and you also can only see one thing at a time when you have that let's say like a druid has bark skin and iron bark up it only show i don't know if it would either show the bark skin or the iron bark but you don't know that both of them are up which is important to know because you can crank through a bark skin but you really can't crank through two of them at the same time so this is an important add-on to show what like it this comes into hand to hand hand to hand with your target selection you know you can see it gives you more clarity on the arena it'll show you who the best target to attack is so let's watch a little bit and see what what it does like right here we could see a cyclone we see the dh is in a cyclone we see he has meta for five more seconds and he gets cloned on it as well things like that it shows it, and you can also readjust the, the size of your buttons that you or you, can, uh, you can readjust the size on anything. But I like to have the stuns really big so I know the duration on them. And I'll show the duration on them as well like that. So very, very good add-on. See, it shows this guy's iron bark. It just gives you more clarity of the arena. So to edit these, let's go to the settings. And then you can go through each and each spell you can add your own if it's not on the list you just add your own and you can change the size to get rid of something for example chaos brand i had to type it in chaos brand then you put never show so it'll clean up your bars a bit like that and uh if you want to adjust them you just go to like let's see i usually have like defensives at 1.5 so they're a little bit bigger than everything else you can go through everything that you want and adjust the size of them Icy Veins, I have at 1.5. Innervate, I have two, so I know that I want to purge it. Uh, and stuns, I have pretty high. Things like that. So very, very important add-on to help you guys out here. Another add-on I want to talk to you guys about is big debuffs. So what big debuffs does is it shows big debuffs on your raid frame. And you can edit the size of them. So as a DH, you want poly to be pretty big on your raid frames. So you know when you need to reverse your healer or something like that. So you can, you can adjust all the sizes with the add-on itself. And I'll show you guys that too. Coils, I have pretty big. Um, it's just very, it just gives you all like fears. You can have certain size. <clears throat> all of these add-ons, like I said, give you clarity, which is very, very important for, for your gameplay. So big debuffs, big debuffs, very important. Also shows on your little character portrait as well. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much big debuffs. So to edit that one, type slash big debuffs. Then you go to spells. You can have, let's say, uh, let's see, crowd control. You can go to polymorph. 
you can have you can set a custom size for it or custom priority custom size you can make it what the hell he's trying to knock me i'm a demon hunter poly priority size you can change the size priority things like things like that so polymorph is good to have big you want to have scatter trap is good too so you know when they're gonna send a send an actual trap intimidation is a good one to have pretty big as well intimidation because you know that they're going to send a trap after that so you can pre-position yourself to get the reverse and things like that so yeah that's big debuffs Let's move on to the next one next one i have on here is omni cd okay so omni cd is a very important one to track arena cooldowns and i'll show this one right here basically you can see what your team has to use at their disposal the trinkets uh you can you can set certain abilities to show on here as well you don't have to show all the ones that i'm showing but i like to have a general idea of what my team has to use and it also you can use this to determine what you need to use let's say you see your healer as a tr as trinket you can be like don't worry i'll pre i'll blur this one you don't need to trinket boom or you have my healer has no trinket i need to dark this i need to dark my warrior who also doesn't have a trinket and is gonna die you know it's good for that so omni cd very very important as well and to edit these go here go to arena it's like omni cd spells show pvp trinkets edit the ones that you want to show on here druid uh evoker you can you can show i think i had to add like which one do i have to show emerald communion isn't on there automatically you have to add that one uh things of that nature so that's Omni CD. Let's talk about. There's one that a lot of people, the, one of the most common ones that people ask me is Doom cooldown pulls. Okay, this one is, I've been using this since it, uh, for probably like 10 years now, honestly. So, what Doom cooldown pulls is, is it show, it flashes certain things that come off cooldown in the middle of your screen. So, as you can see, it'll show, let's say, it's, you don't have to have all of them show. And I edited some out after this, but it shows when Essence Break comes back. See that? See it flash in the middle of your screen? So it's like very non annoying and it's very, it helps me subconsciously know what I have to press without having to look down. You know what I mean? So that's a very, very important add on just to add the fluidity to your gameplay it's called Doom Cooldown Pulse. So, and to edit, you can edit a lot of the, uh, the things that you don't need out. If you type it here, you just blacklist a lot of them. Bellblade, Torment. There were some I needed to get rid of. Consume, uh, probably not Consume Magic. But things like that. See, it'll show it blinking in the middle of your screen right here. That's what this one does. So, really cool add-on. Helps me out a lot. I enjoy it. What else can we do? What else can we talk about now? Weak auras. I think that those are pretty much all the add-ons, right? Besides weak auras, so weak auras is a lot of add-ons pretty much in itself. So some of the ones I'll show you guys quickly are, let's see, momentum, momentum tracking. I think I put that in my last DH guide, but I'm gonna put all the weak auras in the description for you guys too, so you can see what I use. There's not a lot for Demon Hunter. Um, there's this Healer CC one that I downloaded to show you guys. I don't use this one personally, but this can help. It's kind of like training wheels for an arena player. So to kind of know when you need to press buttons yourself and knowing when you're in trouble is when your healer CC'd. So let's say your healer's in a, he a hex, it'll just show a giant, it'll just show this on your screen. So you know that your healer CC'd and you need to press something. So it's that. Let's go to, so the momentum tracker, it just shows, like I said, when you have momentum up and it shows like a little uh, gradient showing when it'll go away. And the other one I use is the, Mez's Dragonfly Weak Auras. So this is a very common one that pretty much all PvPers use. It just shows on your screen. I'll show it on here. When there's a, like right here shows IT veins. It'll show Tyrant. Let's see, Tyrant right there. It shows very important buttons just so you know that they're up. Like I said, just it shows when someone trinkets right there. It shows that it shows a trinketed. 
I have them a little bit too high. I'm probably going to move them down a little bit. So it's kill obelisk. Just like little little things to help your game plan. So that's Mez's uh, Dragonfly Weak Aura package. I'll put that down there too. So that's pretty much... I use a lot of different ones for different classes. Things that you need to track. You know, I, if you guys have any questions on other classes, I can answer them as well. You know, I have them for like Zen Spheres. I have them for my Eclipse Trackers and my Moonkin. I've, if I'm missing Moonkin form, it'll show on my screen. Things like that. So, so last add-on I want to talk to you guys about is Threat Plates. So what Threat Plates is, it's a nameplate replacement add-on that has a lot of customization options. I'm talking like you can change the health bars, the cast bars, the um, even totems. The, the One of the main things I use it for is totems. Some totems I don't really care about seeing and some totems I want to see visibly, such as counter strike, sky furies, groundings, healing tide totems. You wanna to be able to hit those instantly. So you want to have a big, you know, you wanna have awareness and see that on your screen. So you can, so what I did was I had, I completely made my own custom threat plates. And with this right here, you go to custom nameplates and you can put in certain, like everything I want to see very big with that big nameplate I have in here, Sky Fury, Grounding, Siphine, Spirit Link, Healing Tide. So I guess I could take Tyrant off. Tyrant's not that important anymore, but Fell Obelisk, uh, Observer, Healing Stream. And I'll show you guys that, what it looks like here. So, see, for example, there's an Earther down right here. It's not that big on my screen. I don't really care about it, but I want to know it's there, right? So I have it very, like, very, very light. But, uh, for example, when he uses grounding, look, I want to be able to hit that. So I have that big and visible on my screen. I and healing stream as well. So, and it'll show these nameplates for Observer, Fell Obelisk, things like that. So luckily for you guys, Send me a message on Discord at JBZ, just my name, and I, I can send you, I'll send you guys the uh, threat plate profile that I made. So I got that taken care of for you guys. And I also have the cast bars pretty big on here. Let's see if it'll show. Let's see when, when someone starts casting. Uh, hold on. When someone casts a spell, it'll show it very, very big. See, this is the cast bars that I have right here nice and big so i know exactly when to kick i know what's casting and they even show us a little icon too i don't know why it's up a little bit but it shows the icon of what the spell actually is so yeah that's threat plates for you guys and you can do whatever you want with it like i said this is just what i use since my guideline you guys can feel free to edit it and stuff like that so so that's pretty much all i got guys but the reason why we have these add-ons is to provide clarity and game sense like i said before but i just want to reiterate on that because it's very, very important to know what's going on. You don't want to, you want to be tactical with your decisions. DH, yes, like it's a, it's a very, it's a very simple class. You do a lot of damage, but you, the skill comes in when you know when to use a certain defensive, when, when you know when to swap and having that super uptime that I talked about in the last video. When you bring all of these aspects together, you will see your, your, you'll see your rating go up because you don't, you don't want to play blind. You want to know what's happening when you want to know when you want to get good glimpses you want to get good darknesses and you can't do that when you're playing blindfolded and that's just how it is so let me know what you guys think if you guys have questions feel free to come talk to me at my twitch channel twitch.tv slash jbz i do viewer games i do viewer twos threes rbgs uh if you guys have vods that you guys want me to watch on stream sorry on stream i will watch them on stream as well i can and then we can go over like what you guys what we can uh, work on and things like that. So I'm here to help you guys. So leave me a like, comment, subscribe to YouTube as well. And let me know what you, if you guys have ideas for my next videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you later. Peace.